The EPR lab at the University of Chicago is part of a, a consortium a center funded by the National Institutes of Health. Uh, the title of the center is the EPR, or Electron Paramagnetic Resonance Imaging of In Vivo Physiology. This technology is really interesting to us. It allows us to measure oxygen inside tumors in, in live animals in real time. The technique involves the injection of a, a, a molecular spin probe, which reports back through its electron resonance relaxation times, relaxation rates, uh, and electron uh, spectra aspects of the, the tissue microenvironment. The most important of these uh, aspects is tissue oxygenation. So this resonator allows us to expose the tumor growing in the leg of a mouse. The most important aspect of these images is the high spatial or locational variability of the oxygen concentrations that they show. That's the reason we want to obtain an image rather than a single measurement. Whatever you see in our labs was made ourselves. And we continuously rebuilding, we adding new features to these machines. Our method is uh, precise. It gives nearly absolute oxygen value. Our method is quite fast. We can get images uh, as fast as in, in one minute. Our method gives a very good oxygen accuracy up to one tor. And the combination of all these features make our modality very good and unique for this. It involves a large number of different specialties. Uh, physicists, physicians, uh, chemists, molecular biologists, engineers. As a cancer biologist, we're interested in the role of hypoxia, which is low oxygen in promoting tumor progression to metastasis. Um, and so being able to measure when oxygen levels are increasing or decreasing and in what regions of the tumor um, may allow us to predict which parts of the tumor are gonna become metastatic and which ones may, may not. Up until now, there's been no real imaging technology uh, that allows us to measure oxygen in live animals in real time. We here at the University of Chicago have been working on the development of techniques by which we can integrate information from multiple uh, medical imaging studies into this treatment planning process for radiotherapy. What we hope is that EPR imaging will become applicable to humans. I'm being a respiratory physiologist, I'm very much interested in the, studying the impact of oxygen changes in the body, in the whole system. The possibility of the humans is enormous. For example, the people who are having low sensitivity to oxygen, if they go to high altitude, for example, one example, they develop massive pulmonary edema, which is not very good. On the other hand, the people who are hypersensitive to oxygen, they develop hypertension. The key seems to be the oxygen levels, but we know very, very little about it at this point. This is the big magnet. This is big enough to accommodate me. And if it can accommodate me, and it can accommodate you. Inside this is a volume about a foot within which we should be able to take pictures from portions of a human being. And really, that's the hope of the lab, that we can progress the technology to a situation where we can do human pictures.